His warehouse looked perfect, until it wasn't. Thousands of food products were sealed, stacked, and ready to ship into refrigerated trucks. But something invisible had already gone wrong. By the time workers noticed the issue, it was too late. The cooling system had failed overnight, and everything in the chilled zone had risen to dangerous temperatures. What looked like perfectly good food had silently turned into hazardous waste. The factory didn't just lose products, it lost money, time, reputation, and the trust of their customers. If you want to keep discovering the shocking behind-the-scenes stories that happen inside food factories, the ones consumers never get to hear, subscribe now. You won't believe how fragile the food supply chain really is. Stay with us until the end. We've asked an industry expert to share what really happens when cooling fails and how factories deal with the fallout. Understanding the cold chain, how chilled and frozen food stays safe. To understand just how serious a cooling failure can be, you first need to understand the cold chain, the system that keeps perishable food safe. It's not just about refrigeration. It's a delicate, unbroken chain of temperature control that must be maintained from the moment food is cooked or packaged until it arrives in a shop or restaurant. For chilled food like yogurt, ready meals, or deli meats, the cold chain requires that temperatures stay between 2 degrees Celsius and 8 degrees Celsius. For frozen products such as ice cream, peas, or fish fingers, the threshold is even stricter. They must remain at or below minus 18 degrees Celsius. What makes this system so challenging? From factory floors to retail refrigerators, each step has its own set of risks. If even one of those stages experiences a delay or system malfunction, the entire batch can be compromised. To mitigate this, factories rely on real-time monitoring systems. Workers are trained to handle goods quickly and efficiently. However, even with all these precautions, the system remains fragile. How cooling systems are designed and why they fail, modern cooling systems in food factories are technological marvels, all working in harmony to maintain specific temperature zones. However, no system is foolproof. Power outages, equipment wear and tear, human oversight, or even software glitches can cause catastrophic failure. Real incidents, when cooling failures cost millions, Cooling failures aren't just theoretical risks. They happen across the world and they can be devastating. In 2020, a large cheese production facility in the UK experienced an overnight failure of their blast freezer. By the time staff arrived the next morning, the freezer temperature had climbed to minus 6 degrees Celsius. It was well above the safety threshold for frozen goods. In 2021, a dairy plant in Europe experienced a malfunction during a weekend shift. A sensor inside the cold storage area failed and the temperature gradually increased over the next 12 hours. By the time an alert was triggered on Monday morning, hundreds of pallets of milk, cheese, and yogurt were beyond recovery. The cost of the destroyed inventory was estimated at 280,000 euros, and the plant faced months of regulatory audits. In Australia, a seafood exporter lost an entire international shipment due to a delay on the tarmac during loading. The external refrigeration unit lost power, and the internal temperature of the containers exceeded 5 degrees Celsius for over four hours. Customs authorities at the receiving port rejected the shipment on arrival, citing health risks. These events underline just how quickly a cooling failure can escalate from a minor glitch to a major business crisis. And often, the product still looks and smells fine, but inside, bacteria has begun to grow and the safety window has already closed. Consequences Beyond the product, when food is spoiled before shipping, the immediate response is to quarantine and destroy the affected batches, but the implications go much further. From a legal standpoint, manufacturers are required to document all temperature breaches and corrective actions. Failing to do so can lead to penalties, loss of certifications like BR, CGS, or ISO. 22,000, or even prosecution in the case of illness outbreaks. Environmentally, the destruction of spoiled food contributes to waste. Financially, cooling failures can jeopardize relationships with buyers. Retailers may pull contracts, demand compensation, or switch to more reliable suppliers. The human factor. While technology plays a big role, humans are often the first line of defense and the weakest link. Simple mistakes can be the trigger point for disaster. 
In one high-profile case in North America, a forklift driver inadvertently damaged a coolant line while turning into a tight corner in a freezer. The damage? A full shipment of frozen vegetables, estimated at over $90,000. Training, accountability, and a culture of vigilance are essential. The most advanced systems in the world are useless if staff don't respond promptly to alerts or treat SOPs as optional. Cold chain management is about people making the right decisions under pressure. What happens after a breach is detected? When a temperature breach is detected, factories go into immediate containment mode. All affected stock is placed under quarantine. Managers retrieve sensor data, check time temperature logs, and initiate a root cause analysis. Sometimes microbial testing is performed. If results come back positive, the case may be escalated to regulatory bodies and require public recall. Even when testing shows no contamination, the presence of a documented breach often forces a total product write-off. Risk to brand reputation and consumer health simply isn't worth the gamble. The cost of prevention versus the cost of failure. Preventing cooling failures requires investment in equipment, people, training, and audits. But the cost of prevention is always lower than the cost of a major failure. The smartest factories treat cooling risk the way pilots treat turbulence, always anticipated, never ignored. They run drills, review their data weekly, and continuously invest in technology that ensures food safety. Conclusion, a fragile chain with zero margin for error. The cold chain is one of the most important and most invisible safety systems in the world. It protects the food we eat every hour of every day. But when it fails, the consequences are immediate, costly, and dangerous. Every chilled or frozen product on the shelf represents a race against time, temperature, and human error. Want to see what else goes wrong in the world of mass production? Subscribe now to Process Flow, because next week's disaster might be even closer than you think. How cold chain standards vary globally standards vary significantly across the globe. The rise of e-commerce grocery platforms has added new complexity. Consumers now expect chilled and frozen items to be delivered to their doorsteps, often within hours. Meeting these expectations requires precise coordination to avoid delays. Still watching? Good. Because in just a few minutes, you'll hear directly from a former technical manager about what really happens when a cold room goes wrong. Training and culture, the invisible force, Behind cold chain success, factory culture plays a huge role. Progressive factories invest heavily in training programs that go beyond basic SOPs to teach staff how to recognize and respond to early signs of trouble. This helps build a sense of ownership and pride, turning food safety from a checklist into a shared responsibility. As promised, here's what an industry expert shared about what really happens when cooling fails. Questions and answers with an industry expert to gain deeper insight into how factories prepare for and respond to cooling failures. We spoke with Sarah Malik, a food safety consultant and former technical manager for a major UK chilled food manufacturer. Question, what's the most common cause of cooling failure in your experience? Answer, honestly, it's human error, usually during maintenance or shift change. A system gets paused and not restarted properly, or someone acknowledges an alarm but doesn't investigate fully. Question, what's your advice for small manufacturers with limited budget? Budgets. Answer. Focus on the basics, regular equipment servicing, door discipline, and real-time logging. Even an inexpensive SMS alert system can save you tens of thousands. Question. Have you ever experienced a total loss? Answer. Yes. Once due to a blackout where the backup generator had a fuel line issue. We lost about 60,000 pounds worth of ready meals. Since then, we check fuel levels weekly and run live tests monthly. Reflections. Why the cold chain is everyone's responsibility. In the end, the cold chain is more than a technical process. It's a shared commitment among manufacturers, distributors, retailers, and even consumers. Everyone in the supply chain plays a role in keeping food safe. As consumers, understanding how delicate the system is helps us make better decisions. Choosing brands that invest in traceability and supporting sustainable practices all contribute to a more resilient food system. For factories, the lesson is clear. Every degree matters, every second counts, and every failure, no matter how small, is a chance to learn, improve, and protect the people they serve. Subscribe to Process Flow for more deep dives into how our food, products, and factories really work. There's always more to uncover.